What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Right on schedule, Apple dropped the first public beta of iOS 26 in addition to beta 4 re-release. So let's talk about it and some other changes that we didn't discuss from a couple days ago with beta 4. So in the re-release, if we go into settings, general, and about, we can see we now have a new build number ending in an M. So now we're at 23A. 5297M. What's interesting is if you've been following along with this whole beta cycle, the letters aren't going towards the beginning of the alphabet as they traditionally do as the betas go along. Apple, for the longest time ever, has always had the lettering system at the end of a version number signaling the closer it is to the beginning of the alphabet, the closer we are to a public release. So, not sure what's going on here. I believe we just came from an I build, now we're at an M build. So, it's something worth monitoring. I just wanted to let you guys know that. Beyond that, it looks like we're modem firmware is still the same at 2.04.00. And then as far as iPhone storage goes, because this has been a big topic of concern here, let's see what we have now. Okay, so iOS now currently is using 6.21 gigabytes of storage. And then this is new here. We have reserved auto update space. So now we have a separate line item here showing 3.45 gigs reserved for updates. iOS as a whole is taking up 13.54 and the total size is 23.21 gigs. So you can see this has jumped up in size thanks to this new line item here. So now iOS is needing even more storage. In addition to that, you can see the system data now is using 37 gigs, a little over 37 gigs, which again is quite large, especially if you only have a 128 gig storage iPhone. Aside from that, battery on beta four has been the best it's been in this whole beta cycle. Definitely happy to report that. However, our battery health is still hanging in there at 95% at 330 cycle counts, but it's definitely feeling it not being a brand shiny new device anymore. And actually, aside from that too, the charging battery optimization, charging limit, and battery intelligence has been showing a lot more consistency, and the actual charging time left to charge has been displaying much better than it has in the prior betas and more consistently at that. And then obviously what a lot of people wanna know, liquid glass, yes, it made a subtle return here from beta three, Control center does look a little more transparent than frosted, as you can see by all the indicator lights and the apps in the background. But then Apple did geniusly add a new feature for readability here on the lock screen when you're looking at your notifications. So when you scroll up and you have your notifications come up, your background will now dim a little bit so you can read it better. Not sure if you saw that transition or not, but it is darkening the background and lighting it back up when you're scrolling your notifications so you can see them even clearer and still get the benefit of liquid glass. Aside from that, it's really noticeable in the music app as well now. So if you jump into the app here, you're greeted with betas one and two's really transparent glass look. You can see it at the bottom. I do like this. I think this makes everything look quite a little bit better and fluid with what Apple was going for with liquid glass in general. Mark Grumman mentioned it the best way. You can't cut back a three-year UI change program just because some people on Twitter or X were complaining about it. So I'm glad to see they brought that back and everything seems to be working very well with that. But we talked about some of the other updates. We talked about the new splash screens and cameras from the last beta. Everything's looking good. So far, so good on performance as well. Let's go ahead and do our typical stock check. Go to a Bloomberg story and it's flying. I haven't seen a single drop frame rate yet from this video and everything is running as you would anticipate. Let's jump into Clash Royale really quick. Game mode kicked right on. I've seen that intermittent in the past, so that's good to see. Yeah, and we're up moving around. Okay, so yeah, re-release beta four is out. Go pick it up, public beta one as well. Let me know what you guys think of iOS 26 and how you like the changes from liquid glass to transparent glass, now back to more of a liquid glass look in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.